Okay, for today's review, I will be reviewing a small manual focusing lens by TT Artisan, the brand new 23mm f1.4. Full disclaimer, TT Artisan did send me this lens for reviewing and they did say I can keep this lens too. However, they didn't have any say at all to whatever I am going to say in this video. So please feel rest assured that I'm going to be giving you as objectively as possible of a review in this review. So yeah, don't worry about that. Everything I say in this video is purely based on my personal experience using this lens for a few weeks now. Also, like all my other reviews too, this review is not going to be one of those in-depth scientific type of reviews with charts and stuff like that. It's just merely based on my personal experiences of using this lens and what I thought about it. So if that does tickle your fancy, then I guess this review is definitely for you. Okay, so let's have a look at the build quality of the TT Artisan's 23mm f1.4. So far, I have only used one TT Artisan lens before this and it was the 17mm f1.4. F1.4 and based on my experience using just that one lens so far I have to say TT Artisan makes really solid lenses. The focusing ring and the aperture ring feels really well sorted and I like the way the lens feels. I love the aperture ring on the lens too. By the way if you'd like to watch that review you can click on the right hand side to watch it. So in general I have to say the build quality of this lens is really good and it's really solid and I guess it leaves nothing to be really desired. It is yeah I mean it's really good for what it is and it is what it is. I guess. I guess the only thing that I have to complain about this lens has to be its lens cap. It's a slip-on kind of lens cap and I have been on and on about these sort of lens caps. They really do drive me crazy. It's so easy to drop off at times and there's just no consistency about it really being able to protect the front of the lens because it's just kind of loose at times and it definitely is quite frustrating using it. So unless they make a really thicker kind of slip-on cap, I really do hope that we don't see these sort of lens caps in the future. So yeah, I hope TT Artisan does take note on this. Okay, so let's now briefly go through the specs of this lens. This lens weighs around 225 grams, so I would say that it is a moderately heavy lens. The lens is constructed using eight elements in six groups, and it has 10 rounded aperture blades, which really gives this lens a really creamy looking bokeh. At its widest aperture, this lens can be opened up all the way to f1.4, and it can be closed down all the way down to f16. There's no image stabilization on this lens, and it is a manual focusing lens as you guys may already know already. This lens comes with a 43mm filter thread and at its closest focusing distance it can focus all the way down to 20 centimeters away which is really quite good. And I must say I really did enjoy that closest focusing distance because I really was able to get close to my subjects. As for the field of view, this lens has about a 62 degrees field of view, which is pretty much equivalent to a 35 millimeter lens on a full frame camera. So you can say that this lens is quite a sweet spot between being wide and not too wide, which I kind of like. 35 is quite a comfortable focal length in my opinion. Let's talk about the usability and experience. So in terms of usability and experience using this lens, I would say it was pretty much the same like using any other TT Artisan lenses. The lens was really easy to focus with and the the aperture ring has just got the right amount of notchiness that makes me really love it. In terms of bokeh and rendition, I would say that this lens really makes me fall in love with the images it is able to render. There is that wonderful filmic feel and look that this lens has and is able to produce. The images are good and sharp and has really wonderful organic quality to them. In terms of color straight out of the camera, I think that this lens is really good and neutral, so that's really nice to know. The bokeh that this lens produces too is really good and creamy and the images are tack sharp especially in the middle with great background separation. As for the chromatic aberration barrel distortion this lens handles both really quite well and I don't really have any major complaints about it. This lens also was quite a joy to use too in low light as the f1.4 aperture definitely helps a lot in terms of shooting in low light. However I do have to admit that I wish the focus throw wasn't too far because it does take kind of half a rotation of the lens to get from the closest focusing distance all the way to infinity. So I guess it's not the easiest of lenses to use, especially if you need to do quick focus racks and you need to do really quick run and gun stuff. Unless of course you're doing zone focusing, which I'm not really good at. But anyway, yeah, just worth noting. And anyway, here are just some more sample shots I was able to capture using this lens. I'm so sorry if the shots are a little mundane, but I did use this lens as a daily driver for a few weeks. So yeah, these are some of the shots I managed to get with this lens.
Right then, so what's my conclusion after using this lens for a few weeks now? Who do I think should really get this lens? For me, I think this lens is a no-brainer at all for anyone looking for a really affordable 35mm equivalent lens. At $99, it is totally nothing for you to think about. The images this lens produces has character, and I love what it is able to render and capture. It is far from being one of those sterile sort of lenses that you can get. This lens definitely is a keeper. I suppose the only real deal breaker for some might be the fact that this lens is a manual lens. So if that isn't an issue for you, I seriously would tell you that this lens is a wonderful lens just to keep, especially to capture those wonderful moments that give you those warm fuzzy feelings when you just look back at those pictures again. Right, so that's it then. I hope you did find this short review useful. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like, share and subscribe. Also, if you do feel like supporting this channel by making a small contribution, I have also left a link to my buy me a coffee in the description down below. Also, I have left links to all the gears that I use to make these videos in the description down below. So please do check them out. Right, that's it then. See you guys in the next video. Peace.